Hello everyone! This is Ma'am Lea and welcome to our science class! Before we proceed to our topics, I want you to prepare your pen and notebook and write down the important information that you can get from this video. This information will be useful during your answering of your module. You can also write down questions that you will be having while listening and ask those to me afterwards. In that way, you will learn more. So, are you ready? If you are ready, come on! Join me in our discussion of our topics today. Happy learning! Topic number one, basic process skills. Our first topic will answer the question, what are the skills that we need to have to acquire knowledge? My challenge for you is to write down each skill on a notebook and check those that you already have. Start practicing those that you need to practice and remember, you do not need to be a scientist for you to have these skills. The following skills are so important in our daily lives. Skill number one, observing. Observing is the skill of getting information with the use of your five senses. You have learned about the human five senses and our sense organs during your past grade level. Let's take a review of the senses. Our eyes are the organs responsible for the sense of sight. We use these organs to describe and to know the physical properties of an object such as color, size, shape, number, and measurement. In the picture, the girl is holding a flower and she describes the flower using her eyes. She says, it is a red rose. In your notebook, write at least two sentences that use your sense of sight. All you need to do is to look at the things around you. Ears are the organs responsible for getting information about an object that produces sound. We can describe the quality of the voice and music that we hear. We tell how high or low the pitch of sound, how loud or how soft the voice of that person talking to you. In the picture shown to you, a, a dog is barking at the boy. The dog barks so loud. The boy exclaims. Again, in your notebook, write at least two sentences that use your sense of hearing. All you need to do is to listen to the sound of the things around you. Do you know what organ is responsible for the sense of taste? Correct! Our tongue is the one that determines that we eat the objects that can be eaten. Just be reminded that not all objects that you want to observe can be eaten or tasted. There are different types of tastes that our tongue can determine. These are sweet, sour, salty, and bitter. Boy in the picture drink a lemon juice, and according to him, this lemon juice is sour. In your notebook, write at least two sentences that use your sense of taste. All you need to do is to lick the object and food and let your tongue work for you. Your skin, especially your hands, act as the organs for this sense of touch. Our skin can tell us the texture of an object that we are observing. It can be smooth, rough, slippery, hard, or soft. And it can also tell us the temperature of an object, whether it is hot or cold. A man holding an ice is an example. The statement that is said is in describing the ice is, the ice is cold. The word cold describes the temperature of the ice. Again, write at least two sentences that use your sense of touch. All you need to do is to touch and feel the objects within your reach. Our sense of smell, which is our nose, helps us to describe the odor of an object. The words that we can use to describe the odor are sweet, fragrant, stinky, aroma, and the type of perfume that we are using, whether sweet or strong. Some objects, however, are odorless, meaning we can never smell anything from them. The girl in the picture is smelling the flowers. This flower is sweet, she says. Do not forget to write at least two sentences that use your sense of smell. Just let your nose work and describe the smell of the things around you. In doing an observation, we can use one or two or all of those senses that we have. Just be very careful with those that you taste, touch, and smell because some chemicals are harmful. Let's try to identify the senses described in the following numbers. Number one, the dog barks so loud. Number two, this lemon juice is sour. 
For number one, the word loud describes the sound, and sound is observed by using our sense of hearing. So the answer is sense of hearing. And for the second number, take note of the word sour. It is one of the types of tastes that our tongue can identify. Therefore, the answer for number two is sense of taste. Number three, the ice is cold. The word cold in number three describes the temperature of an object, and temperature can be felt by our skin and hands, so the answer is sense of touch. Number four, it is a red rose. The word red is the color that our eyes can see. The answer for number four is sense of sight. Number five, this flower smells sweet. The words smells sweet describe the scent or how an object smells. So, the answer will be sense of smell. And lastly, for number six, the sky is blue. The word sky is described as a color blue. Blue can be seen by our eyes. Therefore, it shows an example of an observation using our sense of sight. Did you get all the answers correct? If not, replay this video and review the lesson or ask your teacher for further explanation. If yes, you can then proceed to the next topic. We have learned that observing is the skill of getting information with the use of our five senses. And those five senses are the sense of sight, hearing, smell, touch, and taste. Now, we will be discussing the word observation. Observation is the process of observing or using our senses to learn about objects around us. And there are two types of observations, namely qualitative observation and quantitative observation. Let's study the difference between the two. As the name suggests, qualitative meaning that pertaining to quality is the kind of observation where a person observes a certain thing based on its physical qualities or properties. This observation uses all five senses, sight, smell, hearing, touch, and taste. Examples of sentences that show qualitative observations are Number 1. The water is cold. Number 2. The bag of potatoes is heavy. The words cold and heavy describes the object water and bag of potatoes. Again, qualitative observation is for describing the quality of an object. While the second type of observation, quantitative observation, as the meaning suggests, quantitative meaning that pertaining to quantity is the kind of observation where a person observes a certain thing based on its number and measurements. Examples are, the water is 1 degree Celsius, the bag of potatoes weighs 2 kilograms. Why are these considered to be quantitative observation? because the sentences have numbers and measurement. Let's compare the examples given for qualitative and quantitative observations. Examples number one for both the qualitative and quantitative observation have the same object being studied and that is the water. However, in quantitative observation, it gave the measurement of how cold the water is. The same goes for the second examples for the both types of observation. The subject or object being studied is a bag of potatoes. But, in quantitative observation, the measurement of how heavy the potatoes is given. Remember, if an observation gives you a number or measurement, it is called a quantitative observation. But, if it gives you the description or the quality of an object, it is a qualitative observation. To check whether you have really understood the topic, get your notebook and pen and answer the following. Write quantitative for the statement that shows a quantitative observation and write qualitative for those showing the qualitative observation. You have 5 minutes to answer and your timer starts now.
words. Number one, he lives in a house 10 meters away from us. The answer will be quantitative observation because there is a number or measurement which is 10 meters. Number two, he has a fat cat. The answer for number two is qualitative because the cat is only described, not counted or measured. For number three, the flower smells nice. The answer for this number is qualitative because there is no number or measurement, just the description, nice. Number four, qualitative because there is no number or measurement, just the description, which is the color blue. And number five, it keeps on raining for three days now. The answer for number five is quantitative because of the number three. Now, you are ready to answer the activity number two on page six of your module. Answer that activity first before we proceed to the next topic.